Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam and today we're here with validating the file size of a file using Java. So what do I mean by that? Well we're going to get the length of a file and then check if that size or length is greater than a minimum size or it's less than a maximum size or is in a range of a minimum size and a maximum size. We are basically doing length checks and range checks on the size of a file. This could be handy if you're making a program that asks the user to upload a file and you want that file to be at least 100 kilobytes big but no bigger than let's say 500 kilobytes. We can do that. So let's get right into how to do that. Firstly, import java.il.file because we need that. Then do string file path equals test.txt. This is going to be the file path we're going to check the size of. Then we can do system.out.println, check size of file, file path and 22. Check size of file is going to be our validation method, file path is the file and 22 is the, going to be the maximum size in kilobytes. We're going to be doing kilobytes as opposed to bytes, but you can also do megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, whatever you want. So let's go into define this method. But firstly, you might be thinking, Max, why have you got two of them? But what we're doing is we're going to be doing overloading. Overloading is where we can have multiple functions that have the same name in the same scope, but they have different parameter type orders. So let's get into defining our first method and then we'll worry about the next one. So we do public static boolean. It's going to return a boolean. That's cool. Check size of file is the name. String file path is going to be the file path of the file we want to check the length of. And then we do long max size. And that's going to be the maximum size of a file that we want. And you might be thinking, but Max, why is it a long? Why is it not an int? Well, basically, a long is a 64-bit integer, which is a super, super, super simple definition, which glosses over loads of details about this, but to anyone who's new to Java, this basically allows us to store a bigger integer than int, because this is 64-bit as opposed to 32-bit. And it's, if you're, let's say, working in bytes or kilobytes for big files, you're probably going to go over the 32-bit integer limit. So we're doing this long just in case. Also, Java will pester you about this if you put an int when you are trying to get the file size of a file. So the first two things we're going to do is we're going to do file file to check equals new file file path, which is us creating a file object. It's going to be called file to check and it's going to have the file path of the file path string here. And then we're going to do if file to check doesn't exist. Then we do return false. So this if statement is checking if the file doesn't exist. And if the file doesn't exist, we return a false because, because we can't check the length of a file that doesn't exist. You could also use a try catch statement instead of using this, but I would much rather just have an if statement. But if you want a try catch statement as well, you can do that. Then we do long file size in KB equals file to check dot length divided by 1024. So what we going, what's going on here? We're actually going to be using kilobytes as our unit of measurement as opposed to bytes because file to check dot length by default returns a size in bytes. We don't want that. We want kilobytes because it's just a little easier to work with because we don't have to worry about as many digits in our number. But obviously you can change this to whatever you want, but if you want to get if you want to convert bytes to kilobytes, you just divide by 1024. So getting the we're store and we're going to store the size in a variable, which is also a long. Then we do file size in KB is less than max size and we put that in a return statement. So if the file size is less than the maximum size, return a true, otherwise return a false because the file will be too big and we don't want that. And that's how we check the file path to be less than a certain size. Obviously, if you want to check if it's greater than a certain size, you flip this to do this. But we don't want that for this particular method. Now let's go and define the other one, but it's going to be super similar. 
So it's going to be a range check, and we do public static boolean, check size of file, string file path, long min size, long max size. If you've watched other tutorials, especially the range check one, this will be super familiar. Literally, we've got a string that we want to check the size of, a minimum size of the string and a maximum size of the string, but take that concept and apply it to the length of a file and not of a string. Now, this is all of the code, and you might be thinking, whoa, Max, don't put too much code on the screen. I can't keep up with you, but everything is the same apart from the return statement. So we do file file to check equals new file file path, create a file object so we can do stuff with the file. Then we check if it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, return false, otherwise we carry on. Then we can do long file size in KB equals file to check dot length divided by 1024, we're getting the file size in kilobytes. Then we're going to do return size in kilobytes is less than max size and file size in kilobytes is greater than the minimum size. This is your classic range check. Check to see if the file is less than the maximum size, then check to see if the size is greater than the minimum size. Both of these conditions are true, then the file size is in the correct range, return true. If one of these or both are false, return a false because not all conditions of the range check were met. If you want to know more about range checks, click the eye up in the corner. But that's it for this tutorial. So let's go and test our code in action. So in NetBeans, you can go to your projects folder by going to Window, Projects, and then you can right click on your project, go to Properties. This is the file path where your project is. It will be different for other IDEs. And we have got a text file in our folder where our Java project is. Again, you can customize the file path, but I'm just going to keep it relative to the Java project. And we've got a, text, a test file, which has just got a bunch of text. And this is around 22 kilobytes. If we right click on properties, we can see it is 21.4 kilobytes. It gets rounded up in the Windows File Explorer. And so if we go to our check size of file, we want to make sure it's below 25 kilobytes. So we're going to hit play. And it's true because it's less than 25 kilobytes. If we did, let's say 20, it's false because it's not in, it's not less than 20 kilobytes. It's greater than it. Now we're going to do the overloaded method. So the minimum size is going to be 20 and the maximum size will be 26. And it's true because it's in the range, but let's say the minimum is going to be 24. No, it's going to be 26 and the maximum will be 28. It's false because it's not within the range. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more Java validation tutorials. So thanks for being a great audience and I'd just like to assure you I have not run out of validation ideas. We've got plenty more to come. You might be thinking, Max, you've done this for over five years. Surely you've run out of validation ideas. No, I haven't. We're going to go until the end of time. So thanks for being a great audience. I will see you next time.